You got it? Uh, no, not yet. Well, what's the problem? Uh, I, I... Maybe it's all the metal in here. No, no, that's not it. It's gotta be a... a oh, hold on. Here we go. Okay, Mr. Singer, we're ready. No, you're not. Not for this. Do you still maintain your innocence? Fucking A. Mr. Singer, you can't use the F word on TV. Oh, fuck. All right, sorry. It's okay. Let's start over. Ready? And you still maintain you're innocent of all charges. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, <laughs> except for maybe the original moving violation. So you do admit to vehicular recklessness? and to driving a 2,000-pound machine of metal and chrome irresponsibly into a populated intersection, heedless of the death and destruction you may have inflicted on innocent pedestrians at any moment. You could have- Hey, 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 Barbara Walters. Do you want to hear this or not? Yes, please. All right, then shut the fuck up and pay attention. Now, obviously, I wasn't there from the beginning, but based on what I know now, I'm pretty sure I can piece the whole thing together. I'm pretty damn sure the whole thing started with one big fucking cosmic accident. today. I'm looking for at least a two-pounder. Yeah, how about saving one for me, huh, buddy? Hey! First fire of the season. It's mine. All mine. Bill? Bill? Bill, come on. Bill! Come on, man, Bill! Oh, no, man, don't do this to me. Come on! Bill!
Now, Luella, I told you once before, when Ben and Bill get together with Homer, Lyman, and Otto up at that lodge, they're doing one of two things, fishing or drinking. And fishing always comes in second. I don't suppose you're familiar with the term personal space? Sorry. Excuse me, deputy. Do you think I could Shut maybe... Shut goddamn pie hole! You're right. It was terribly selfish of me to ask. Meanwhile, sit back and relax. Enjoy the silence. Well, take the pills. I don't care. All right, Luella. All right, you take care, OK? Jimmy Ray? Go get the van, bring her on back, right to the door. Don't even leave this much room, you understand? And for God's sake, next time, hold the mustard, will you please? Well, gentlemen, much as it pains me, it looks like I'm gonna have to drag your asses over to Jackson County. It's very disappointing, very disappointing indeed, because I was looking forward to having some, shall we say, quality time with you gentlemen. Much like I had with your brother, eh, singer? Correct me if I'm wrong, but doesn't your ex-wife live in Jackson County? God, I miss her. Don't you push me, boy. Jimmy Bob! Take these malcontents out of here before I kill them. You got it? Wait, wait, wait! Don't change my 20, I swear! I must state again that any attempt to avoid payment will be met with immediate leg action. Righteously, Reverend Eldon Fonsworth. Praise the Lord. Did you get all that, Sister Amy? Yes, I did, Reverend. Um, but now, what do you mean by leg action? Um, that's a legal action, Amy. Where's your mind today? I'm so sorry. It's all right. Just try to keep your mind on what you're doing. Dumbass for reckless driving. Son of a bitch. Are you all right? Oh, bless you, hey man. I'm just a little tired from all this driving. You shouldn't have dismissed your driver this weekend. I wanted this time to enjoy our fellowship. There are so many things I want to be telling you today. Well, tell me, Reverend. My heart is always open. <sighs> <gasps> Perhaps I phrased it poorly. Amy! Amy! Sister Amy! Please! Understand, Sister Amy, I, I do love my wife. But ever since the Lord saw fit to extend her from a size 6 to a size 12, I have had great difficulty expressing my physical love. But then, God blessed me with you. I, I do not mean to dishonor you, dear child, but ever since God brought us together. I have been unable to rid my mind of your intense loveliness. My every waking moment is, is filled with, with impure thoughts of, of you. You see, a man must have a clear mind if he's to, to minister to the faithful. He cannot stand before his congregation with a, a painful, wicked, throbbing... Please, Reverend, stop. I've dreaded this day for so long. But I know now it is God's will. He has sent me here to relieve you of your throbbing. Hallelujah!
things. The ones with the CZs in them. Why are you so goddamn grumpy? I don't know. Could it be because you're going through my drawers? <laughs> Maybe it's because I'm the only one who's been in your drawers lately. Believe it or not, sis, not everyone judges their relationships on how many orgasms they have. <laughs> Second I borrow them or what? Jury stand. Second draw. All you had to do was ask. Well, now, I didn't want to wake you. I know you were late. Well, that panned out real well, didn't it? You nearly got yourself killed over a pair of earrings. A really cute pair of earrings. Not that there would have been much use with your head blown off. <laughs> oh, for corn's sake. Don't be so dramatic. Come on. As long as you're up, make me some damn coffee. All right, this looks like the river on the map. Oh, stop. Hold everything. My toothies are killing me. I don't know why I agreed to break away from the group. They're probably back at the lodge with ice cold drinks by now. Stop worrying. I can read a map better than that Yutz guide. These pretty boys kill me. They grow a beard, throw on a plaid shirt, and suddenly they're Daniel friggin' Boone. I took one look at that idiot and knew he couldn't find his way to the bathroom. I was kinda hoping he might find his way to my bedroom before the weekend was over. Guys today have more between their legs than between their ears. Claudia, why do you have such a problem with men? I don't have a problem with men. I just hate them. You know what I... What, uh, what are you doing? Communing with nature. It's what we came up here for, right? Come on in. <laughs> it's perfect. For. I think it's better if I don't. Good chicken. Be a man. Oh. Okay. I say so. Okay. 
perfect. All right, I'm in. <sighs> Grab that ladder. I don't smoke. It might come in handy. Okay. So, where are we going? Leaving. What? It's illegal. We're convicts. Besides, we're not going to get anywhere on a flat tire. Spare. They don't have one. Huh? Yeah. Don't you read the papers? Watch the news? Budget cuts, man. A lot of the essentials were downsized. Tires, uniforms, chewing tobacco. But hey, it was a good plan. And I admire your driving initiative. That's rare in a douchebag. Um. <laughs> Those were the handcuff keys. Son of a bitch, get out! Ow! Ow! <laughs> yeah, you know, I, I hate when that happens. Where'd they go? Over the river and through the woods. So the escape was a bust. Let's just turn ourselves in, and when we get back to jail, I'll recommend you for a stay of execution. What do you say? Oops. Oops. What oops? I have the lighter. And the keys, you, you tossed them. Almost forgot. Fix those. Oh, Reverend Fonsworth. <clears throat> those are my best shoes. I, I'm sorry, I just thought, well, now you can walk at least. Oh, yeah, you're right. I'm sorry. It's just that I'm tired. I'm the one who should apologize. I'm the one who brought us out. What? Praise be. The Lord doth indeed provide. That old road? Well, a private road means a private residence. And a private residence means a private phone. Exactly. Oh, thank God. I'm so hot and sweaty. My clothes are sticking to me like a second skin. Do you think they'd let me use their shower? I won't rest until you realize that divine wish. <laughs> Hi. Come in the middle of something. Well, Luella's calling already. Well, she knows the reception up there is hit and miss, right? Bill and the guys do more drinking than fishing. Yeah, I'm sure she'll hear from them once they run out of beer. But hell, I suppose I could send up Jimmy Ray. No, it's federal land in my jurisdiction. I'll be heading up to the station about an hour or so. If I get a chance, I'll run over and check on them then. Bye. Bye. Well, well what? We're lost, aren't we? Hey, what's with the attitude crap? Oh, I knew it. Of course, there's no reception out here. 
Look, I'm sorry, all right? You're sorry. My phone bill is higher than Whitney Houston. I can't even get a signal. No, I mean about the other thing. Look, I'm sorry that I uh, touched you at the stream. Oh, terrific. Well, that's what you're mad about, isn't it? You haven't spoken to me in over an hour. Claudia, forget about the stream. I'm not worried about you. I'm worried about bears. They have much bigger hands, and they don't do their nails. It's not my fault. It's this fucking map. I mean, there's supposed to be a road around here somewhere. Well, let's move it then. I want to beat rush hour traffic. <sighs> Jimmy Bob, dead. Dismatch, did you hear me? Come here, please. Yeah. Flow, chafing. Now what? that door. Not bad for a starter. Guess we could always trade up later. Hey, what do you think that's all about?
two, four, six, seven. Seven beds. Dwarves? I hate them little fuckers. What a surprise. So tell me, Bob, is this our new home now? I mean, where do you see yourself this time next year? In hell. Shit, I was kind of hoping you'd say Hawaii. can use their phone. Maybe Paris Hilton is camera shy. You're right. It does look pretty deserted. What about that dirt road we just crossed? What about it? Well, maybe we should just go back. It'll be dark in a half hour. Does that road have a roof? Well, no, but... Then welcome to Camp Claudia. Her upper. Yeah, early American creepy. I say we get the hell out of here. And I say you get comfortable and start looking at that map while we still have some light. Does it look like this place has electricity? I'll fix us something to eat. Food. You know, we don't even know who owns this place or anything. This could be where all the redneck hillbillies bring their sisters and farm animals for sex. It's, it's a fishing lodge. Then why are all the windows boarded up? To keep the fish from getting away. Here, have some freeze-dried snow peas and relax. <laughs> what the hell? <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. Shut up. Oh my god. Oh my god. Shut the fuck up! Give me your backpack. Fuck you, Gomer! What'd you say? Fuck you. Say, uh, Bob, you remember what we used to say back in high school whenever we found ourselves at one of those really dull parties? Where's all the girls, remember? High school. Yeah, or fifth grade, whichever you made it to. Anyway, I was thinking, why not Keep them around a bit, you know? Just just to liven things up. I think how dull it's gonna get with just the two of us. Not that you're dull, Bob. I mean, what with these last few hours and all, I'm gonna be pissing pure adrenaline for weeks. <clears throat> but hey, what's a party without girls, you know? Let's have some fun with them, you know? Tell some off-color jokes, crack some farts, smack them around a bit. Then tomorrow morning, you can wake up, roll over, kick one of them in the ass, and say, hey, bitch, wake up and make me some freeze-dried snow peas. Come on, Bob. See? Look at that. Girls are fun. They're great. But if you blow their brains out, then they won't be around to clean up the mess afterwards. Girls are whiny, annoying, pains in the ass. Not all girls, Bob, though, right? I mean, your mother was a girl, I assume. <clears throat> I killed her. <laughs> Serves her right, the whiny cow. Um, let's see if they have any more food. Um, would you like to join us? Yeah. I'm gonna take that, thanks. So, do you ladies have anything to declare? 
alcohol, tobacco, Mexicans. Ixne on the Akbe Octe. This guy just ilked and opke. What'd you say? I said, ooh, look at all the goodies we have. We've got freeze-dried snow peas and powdered soy milk bars. And for dessert, mmm, trail mix with organically grown pine nuts. Christ, the shotgun would be more humane. It doesn't really have that lived-in quality. Faith, Amy. We must have faith. You must believe. I believe if there's a phone in there, I'm Madonna. May I? <sighs> what are you doing? I am giving you back your bracelet. I think we should start seeing uh, other felons. <sighs> there you go. Thank you. Somebody's coming. Get into the bedroom. Get into the bedroom. Sister Amy, it was only the wind. Hands up. Who are you? I'll ask the questions. Easy, Amy. Yea, though we walk through the valley of death, we shall fear no evil. Well, you haven't met Bob yet, have you? Shut the fuck up. Now, son. Let's just do what he says. Now, see here, Bob, we're gonna get along with these people just fine. Now, who are you, and what the hell are you doing here? Just a couple of stranded travelers, lost and tired. Search them. <sighs> Sorry. This isn't my regular job. I'm just working for him until I get my degree. Degree? In what? Running and hiding. Yeah, clearly. OK, Bob, they're unarmed. That's not true, brother. We're wearing the armor of faith and carrying the sword of righteousness. Well, get back to me when you have a holy hand grenade. OK, what we have here is a Reverend Eldon Farnsworth and Amy Smoots. You a Reverend? That's correct, brother. But you're not Mrs. Reverend Eldon Farnsworth. All right, Rev. Cast those filthy thoughts out of the gutter of your mind, or I'll show you the back of my hand. OK, Bob, you can shoot him now. Oh, God, no! Please! Prison chaplain used to get me extra food. Used to write letters for me. Oh, you so slid by that time, pal. So what are you going to do with us? Don't know. Hey, we're in the middle of nowhere. We won't be able to reach the cops for days. Why not just let us go? That would be the Christian thing. You know, actually, we could go ahead and let Shut them. up! All of you, shut the fuck up! I gotta think. Well, folks, we might as well get comfortable. This could take some time.
What's that? Guys who own the cabin, maybe? All their bags are sitting in the bedroom, still packed. But we haven't seen any of them since we got here. Maybe you and your partner murdered them before we arrived. <laughs> Whatever. Didn't I see you on TV last week? That's right, brother. Last week and every week. Two million viewers and growing every day. Yeah, I remember. Still can't believe it took him so long to kick you off that friggin' island. <laughs> what? <gasps> what? Shit. What shit? Ranger. Girl Ranger. Oh, shit. First one even makes a sound, he's dead. Nice, secluded spot you picked here, Bob. What are we, on top of a subway station or something? One more person shows up, we can just lose ourselves in the crowd. No problem. We'll just wait till she gets closer. Then I'll blast her. Uh, sir? You don't have to do that. I, I can get rid of her for you. She won't suspect a thing. Stay out of it, Sherry. Oh, bite me, Claudia.
I guess that makes us even. Mind telling me who you are and what you're doing here, man? Oh, I I'm just visiting my uncle. Oh, well, I'll be. You're Betty Jo. Bill talks about you all the time. I know, it's, it's kind of embarrassing. Uh, is he around? No, he's still up at Renaissance Creek fishing with the guys. Yeah, okay. Well, tell him I said hi. I will. Oh, uh, one other thing. What's that? Bill's niece's name is Bobby Joe, not Betty Joe. Don't, don't shoot. Get away from the door. Do it now. I kill that ranger, I'm gonna kill you. I don't know, Bob, that might put you over your limit. <coughs> hey, ranger! You still alive out there, ranger? Huh? You still alive? Because I know that had to hurt. Come on, girl, get out here and face me like a man. Come on! Come on, bitch. Get your ass out here and face me like a man. <laughs> Me to buckshot. We got one still out there. <laughs> got it. It's probably a bear, and you just pissed it off. Oh, you've seen a lot of bear attacks, have you? Because I'm no expert, but I'm willing to bet that wasn't a fucking bear. Well, whatever it was, it's dead now. that woman, you foul, filthy murderer. Melton, please. This is not a cultured person. What, what are you going to do with us? It'll be dark soon. I demand that you release us this instant. Hey, the only thing my man Bob is going to release is an ounce of buckshot in the general direction of your ass. Now, my cheap advice to you is to sit down and shut up. This is absolutely the last time I save your fucking life. Food. Snow peas. Wasn't I gonna kill you? Uh, yeah, but you, you changed your mind. Peaches left if you want them. Thanks. Yeah, thanks. 
Is there anything else from our backpacks you'd like to offer us? Give me a break. It's all I could get away from him. The guy's a human garbage disposal. Why don't you do something? Oh, come on, Claudia, be real. He's just a man. No, he's not. He's a pit bull minus a sweet temperament. That and he has a gun the size of a ride at Disneyland. Men can't live with them, can't castrate them. Do you kiss your mother with that mouth? Do you kiss anybody's mother with that mouth? Suck my dick. What are you doing with her? Sorority sister. Oh. What are you doing with him? Oh, we're pen pals. Funny. I mean, why were you in jail in the first place? I rear-ended a truck at an intersection. They arrested you for a traffic accident? No, it was for DNA. My brother's doing a stretch for Grand Theft Auto, and local sheriff figures it's in the blood, so he pretty much likes to ride me every chance he gets. <clears throat> Did I mention it was his truck I hit? You hit the sheriff's truck. Yeah. <laughs> Brand new, fresh off the lot truck, yeah. And I'm not ashamed to admit, I actually popped a little wood at the moment of impact. <laughs> oh my god. You know, it's good to hear you laugh. Yeah. So do you have a name or just a bunch of aliases? Oh. Clarence. Sherry. I know. I searched you, remember? You're lucky. I usually don't let a man search me on the first date. Well, yeah, but I bought your dinner and I paid for this room. Okay. But since I don't know you, my mom says I'm supposed to pretend not to like it. <laughs> That's cool. Because my dad says I'm not supposed to care whether you like it or not. Oh, Christ. <laughs> Please stop before you make me throw up. I see nothing humorous about wanton lust and adultery. No, I can see you take that very seriously, Farnsworth. Watch your forked tongue. We are not all animals in this room. Do I really have a forked tongue? Could be interesting. Cast not thy pearl before swine. This is no accident. No, sir. There is every type of human depravity and degradation in this room tonight. Atheists, fornicators, murderers. Mm. Lesbians. I realize now, you were all sent here to test me. But I am strong in the Lord, and the Lord's spirit is strong in me. Amen. Why can't you just sit there and be miserable like everyone else? Nobody has been sent here to test you. You've just got a bad travel agent, like me. I'm supposed to be booked with the same group. I believe in God. Really? Since when? Since my execution. Excuse me? I was sitting in a chair all strapped in and ready to fly. And there was this blinding flash. And all I could see was this big, beautiful light, and I just knew it was God. And he wanted to be my pal. <laughs> But how did you... Just unstrap me. And I got up. And everyone was looking at me all funny and making the signs of the cross and whispering about miracles. Well, I guess God wanted to spare me because they commuted my sentence to triple life. Do you feel any different? I've never felt better. My hair won't lie flat no more. The Lord truly does work in mysterious ways. Do me a favor and shut the fuck up. You're worse than him, you little hypocrite. That's all right, sister. I don't blame you for your anger. It's not your fault you grew up in a 
twisted world that encourages your perversion. You're the pervert, you and that backwood country fuck. Now you listen here, you lesbian slut. That is a man of God. Huh. He's dedicated his whole life to bringing lost sheep to salvation. <laughs> is that what you're doing up here, Farnsworth? Looking for lost sheep? He was looking for something soft and wooly, all right. But I doubt it was sheep. Why, you little... <laughs> 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 Knock it off! Fucking dykes! Ah! Ah! Yes! <laughs> Lick me, cunt biscuit! Ha! Yes! <laughs> now I said, knock it the fuck off. That's it. Well, don't just stand there. Recuff him while I call for help. With pleasure. Not my phone. Yeah, but I can't get a freaking signal. It's because I have the friends and family you never want to speak to plan. Amy, Amy, are you all right? My, oh. my mouth. You're going to be okay. We, my listen, mouth is bleeding. You got to go now. Come on. Come on. Snap out of it. Come on. Going somewhere? Away from this place of evil. Oh, don't be stupid, Farnsworth. There's some kind of animal out there, and it is already killed once. Out there in the dark, you don't have a prayer. There's an animal right here. He killed that woman out there. And make no mistake, I've always got a prayer. All right, get something to tie his legs with, too. Oh, 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 there should be some, some fishing line in one of the tackle boxes. OK? He is cuffed. Douchebag. <clears throat> what? <laughs> Forget it. Forget it. We've got to go. Please. What's wrong? We're fine, darling. You're fine. The dirt road's just up ahead there. Now, as long as we have faith, we will be delivered. All right? Now, you just lean on Eldon, and soon we'll be away from this place of wickedness. All right? <laughs> <laughs> you Too nice. uh, yeah, you and Mother Teresa uh, barely tell you two apart. Hey, you should go see if you can get Farnsworth and his bimbo back here. Why? They're both adults well over the age of consent. She's right, you really should. Fine. Please hurry. They're in danger every minute they're out there. Don't rush me, okay? I only get to die once. So please, let me do it my way, will you? Oh. What happened? Where's Amy? Was he a devil himself? He, he took her. Calm down, Reverend. Calm down, OK? Just take a breath, relax. When you're ready, just tell us exactly what happened. Oh, shit. What is it? It's a bub. His eyes are as dark as the pits of hell. He struck my Amy down. We gotta get this window covered like the rest. Why? What's going on? There's something out there! I didn't see anything. What the fuck are you doing? Oh, uh, give it back! Shoot that goddamn thing! For fuck's sake, just shoot it! Christ, what the fuck was that? Was that even human? It was big and ugly! That's what it was. Shh. Listen. The 
chimney. Oh, not with that fire going. I don't know what the fuck that thing was, but it definitely ain't Santa Claus. It's Satan. They come to punish me for my wickedness. Shut up. Well, then why don't you go out there, bend over, and take it like a man, Farnsworth? That way the rest of us can get out of here alive. We've got to get this window boarded up. Nobody move. This is why the cops always cuff a suspect's hands behind him. Well, excuse me for not sharing your jailbird expertise. It's coming back down. Now, oh, fuck this. Whatever that thing is, I'm gonna go kill it. And then I'm gonna come back, and I'm gonna kill you. For you. Motherfucker, I'll, I'll hear that. Closed, you slimy little fuck. So it used to be a liquid. Yeah, but real thick and gooey, like like oil. 
Most of it latched onto Bob's face and turned him into some sort of zombie or something. And it was alive. We think it's some sort of parasite since it seems to need a host. Or else it ends up like this, huh? Yeah. Is it dead? No, most likely in a state of suspended animation until it comes in contact with another host. It could probably survive years like this. Molecular biology. We're med students over at Mercy General. Really? I would have thought you were a phys ed major. Blow me. Nice bedside manner, Doc. So, I mean, have you guys ever heard of a parasite controlling its host the way these things seem to? Affecting, yes. Controlling, no. So how do we kill it? Good question, since the shotgun's empty. Well, there's got to be something around here we can use for weapons. Yeah, right. I mean, Bob couldn't kill it. And that was his major. We're still human, Claudia. We have minds. We can think and reason, which is more than that thing out there can do. How do you know? We don't even know what that is. It's Satan. Come to claim our forsaken souls. I think snacking on sweetbreads, Reverend, not souls. The point is, it's just an animal. It's running on pure instinct. We can outthink it. We just, we can't give in to panic. Now let's find some weapons. I'll check the bedroom. I'll check the kitchen. Well, if any luck at all, that thing will starve to death once it realizes Bob has no brains. You can't vanquish Lucifer. Only God can do that. I guess it comes down to helping them or listening to you. You lose, Padre. be a scaling knife or two in one of the tackle boxes. Good idea. Yeah. Hey, Reverend, how you doing? Barnsworth? Are you okay? Calm down, just tell me exactly what you Oh! Oh, fuck me! Oh, you really need to change your diet. Fuck you! Good. Oh! Where the hell did that come from? Most 
most likely there. Jesus. These are the guys from the photo on the mantle. <sighs> Ask and ye shall receive. <sighs> What's that? The answer to our prayers. You got a helicopter waiting outside? I do not. Company of Marines? I'll settle for a petri dish this big. All we have to do is leave. Just like that? Pay the bills, steal the towels, check out before noon? Why don't you head on back to the rec room, Farnsworth? You got enough time for one more basket before the nurse comes to get you for your shock. Don't you understand? All we have to do is leave this place and that demon will let us be. Am I gonna let the ranger be? Are you and your lady friend? There's the front door. Be my guest. But make sure you leave the address to heaven so I can be sure to forward your mail. It's no use unless we all leave together. This cabin is that creature's dwelling. Uh, we are, he's merely fighting to protect what is his. These are our proof. We are trespassers in this creature's home. Get your head out of your ass, Farnsworth. That creature has us right where it wants us. These heads, they're empty. The brains have been sucked out. We're not trespassers. Ah! We're the fucking menu. <laughs> How's she doing? We're fine. Thanks for asking. Yeah, well, we've all had a pretty rough night tonight. Look, I think we need to put our heads together and come up with a plan to get out of here before that thing comes back. Come in! Come in, please! That sounds like Amy. Amy? My Amy? No, 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 wait! Thank you, thank you, Lord, for delivering my Amy to me. How is she? Probably just in shock. A lot of that going around today. Christ, Claudia, can you not be a bitch for like two seconds? Bailed him? Amy. You left me. You left me out there with that thing. I almost died. Oh, please forgive me, Amy, my love. Please forgive me. Forgive yourself, fuck face. <laughs> you dick. What's the plan, He-Man? I don't know, are we on a regular bus route here? Maybe we should just pack all of our stuff and get the hell out of here before that thing comes back. Do you remember Bob? Because he's still out there. And he was no picnic when he was a human, and I doubt being a mutant parasite zombie puppets improved his mood any. Listen, Claudia was right about this thing being a parasite. But it's also acting like a single-celled organism. You mean like an amoeba? Oh, yeah. Believe it or not, I was a B-plus student. I only dropped out to help my mom with the farm after my brother got arrested. OK. Anyway, I think this parasite enters the skull of its host and feeds on its brain matter, somehow enabling it to control the host's basic motor functions. Then it kills others in order to feed on their brain matter until it's gorged itself enough to divide. Divide, you mean like reproduce? Are you telling me there could be more than one Bob running around out there? 
And the longer we wait, the more of them we'll have to face. <sighs> What about Amy? Could she be one of them? Mm -hmm. She's alert and verbal. No signs of brain damage. Yeah, that and she's not all gross and zombie-like. <laughs> yeah, there's that. That ranger had a gun. <laughs> yeah, so? Well, if you made it to her body, then you could get the gun. Wait, if I could get her gun, why me? Brother, that weapon could be our deliverance. Well, then you go out there and get it. You're the one who believes in all this afterlife crap. Me, I'm an atheist. If that thing gets my ass, it's forever. Oh, what, are you nuts? Here, Reverend, at least take this. God damn it, wait a minute. We head straight for the body. You get the gun, and I'll keep an eye out for Bob and any other amoeba mutant fucks that might be out there. Lock the door behind us and don't open it till we come back. Only the rightful king of England can pull it out. <sighs> I think I blew out my O-ring. Come on, guys, move it. Move it. Okay, let's go. With you okay? Oh, I tripped. On what? Oh, have mercy. Let's not stand on ceremony, Reverend. Just get the gun and let's get out of here. It's not here. What's going on? I can't see anything. What's going on? I don't on? know. It's shaking my arm. just lost his head. That's not really much of a loss, is it? If they're not back in five minutes, I'm going after him. What's going on? Well, Barnesworth and Clarence went outside to get the... What's wrong? Oh! Oh my god, it did her... <laughs> Oh, 
payback, baby. I'm a deathophobic. Get in the fucking basement! Zombies packing. Fuck! I've been shot! Oh shit, is, is it bad? You ever been shot when it was good? Fuck this! I'm out of here! Loyal demon, you'll get neither my soul nor my brain! Shit, Bob was right. This did come in handy. What now? We find another door and we get the fuck out of Dodge. Wait, wait, wait. Is that? Yeah, it's a generator. Here. Stand back. like some kind of homemade space station or spaceship i you mean that alien amoeba thing is a computer programmer from outer space or something you know? so much for outsmarting the dumb animal what is this made out of hubcaps those aren't just hubcaps it's a 68 thunderbolt no! <gasps> all right asshole you want us come and get us the joke's on you, because I already lost most of my brain cells to heavy drinking. Wait, 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 wait. I think it's trying to tell us something. Yeah, like what? Give me some head cheese? No. If it wanted to kill us, it would have attacked by now. It's, it's obviously here by accident. Maybe it just wants to go home. <laughs>
That's just wrong. Oh. oh my god. We should have taken pictures. How often do you get to see the inside of an alien workstation? How would your brain like to see the inside of an alien's colon? Let's just get out of here before more of those things show up. But now nobody's gonna believe us. As soon as we get out of here. 60 minutes, and we'll get Ed Bradley up here with a camera the size of a Volkswagen. I promise. I prefer more like safe for myself. So, did you ever go back? Only to show the police where the place was. Clarence was right. There were more of them. The place was stripped clean by the time we got there. Except for the bodies. Yeah, except for the bodies. For some reason, those creatures are just into head. So how have these extraordinary events affected your life? Well, we were celebrities for a few days. I sold my story to the Inquirer. They put me on the front cover. Of course, all that money went to Clarence's lawyer. Not that it did much good. It, it took the jury all of 20 minutes to come back with that verdict. Oh, yeah, and I got kicked out of med school. You know, if stupid was a sport, well, that boy, he'd have a room full of trophies. He came in here with a crock of shit about the dead rising from the earth, eating people's brains, but the people in that courtroom, well, they knew that the only brain that got et was his, from the inside, if you know what I mean, and I think you do. Personally, I thought they should have fried his ass, but he only got life. Something about retards like him make those jury folks go all soft and fuzzy inside. It's pity, a real pity. He's a psycho. Everybody in that court could tell just by looking at him. He, he blew a hole straight through my baby sister's face. And that ain't right. Even if she wasn't a pretty one. <laughs> of course they didn't believe me, would you? I mean, the only reason it took those freaking hicks 20 minutes is because none of them could even spell guilty. But didn't Sherry testify for you? Yeah, and they thought she was lying to protect me. Of course, when they found us, we were holed up at Sparky's Motel off Route 9. Banging our amoeba-free brains against the headboards. So it's as if the alien amoeba never existed at all. Oh, it existed all right. You tell all your viewers, you tell everyone you know, if they see anything that even looks like a slug to shit their pants and run like hell. Yo, bitch! What you doing? Get your ass over here, boy! <clears throat> Excuse me, that's my husband. I better go. Father,